All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Rakak, Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Ray Millstone. And peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. And um, the title's lesson is going to be The Most High is Angry with the Wicked Every Day. All right, quoting Psalm, uh, Psalm the seventh chapter in the 11th verse. And uh, before I go anywhere, uh, let me grab and establish who the wicked is. All right, the wicked. Okay, this is uh, Malachi chapter 1 in verse 4 it says, Whereas Edom saith, We are impoverished, but we will return and build desolate places. Thus saith the Lord Yahweh Bashim shall have hosts, they shall build, but I will throw down, and they shall call them the border of wickedness. And the people whom I in second, like the people whom the people against whom the Lord Yahweh Bashim shall have in your nation forever. Right? So going into we just read um Esau. He is the wicked, all right? The border of wickedness. Okay, so when wickedness is uh, happening, he's the beginning of it, right? It says if, if adversity uh, come upon thee, you shall find him there first, all right? So Esau is always there because he's the man of sin that has been revealed, okay? As going into uh, the, the return of our Lord shall not come until Esau been revealed, okay? That falling away, okay? Which going into time of uh, you know, us falling out of our understanding of who we were, okay, us being discontinued from our heritage, being so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Americans, also me forgetting where you came from, are right, you being the children of the Lord, the Israelites, okay, um, and we will be waking up, waking back up to the Holy Spirit in these last days, all right, like it tells you in um, Revelation, what, the 11th chapter, after three and a half days, uh, the Spirit of, of life from the Most High entered onto us, and we stood upon our feet, as you get the 37th chapter going to, um, you know, us ultimately waking up from our dead state. All right, that's all prophecy. All right. So going into the wicked, that's Esau, Edom, so the white man. Right. And again, going into him, he is the end of the world. As it reads in the second edge of the sixth chapter, he's the end of the world. Okay. And Jacob is the, Jacob is the beginning. And Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. All right. Jacob being again, later named, changed to Israel. Going on to his sons, the Israelites. Okay. Again, which are your so-called Negroes, Latinos, and your Americans. All right. So going to Todd's lesson, uh, the most high is angry with the wicked every day. Um, uh, and it, that's why it says, um, um, well, that's why Yahweh said himself, he said, um, uh, I come to bring fire on the earth and what will I if it already be kindled? And pretty much what will I, meaning I would do this a long time ago, but it's all about the word of the Lord. That's why it says in the book of Nahum uh, that the Lord is long suffering. He's, well, it says he's slow to anger, okay? But he's not going to quit. Well, let me just grab it. Um, I got this real quick. This is Nahum chapter one. And I started verse two. It says the most high is jealous. Okay, he's jealous for who? Jealous for his namesake, okay? As he's a jealous power, right? He doesn't like it, how the condition of this world, that's why he's going to destroy it. He says he has a controversy with inhabitants of this earth because there's no truth, no mercy, and no understanding of Yahweh Shem Shai in the land, okay? So the Lord's jealous. But we're going to go into the Lord ultimately is bound by his word. Okay, everything going to play out according to prophecy, okay? But the Lord is jealous, okay? It says jealousy is a rage of a man, okay? Ultimately, jealous, again, for his namesake. And you know, us being children of Israel, where right, we're named after the Lord, Yahshua Allah, he uh prince of power. Okay, we're the prince of the power. Okay, so the Lord's jealous for for us because our name it's like his name is on us. Okay, so the Lord's gonna avenge us going to this time uh we're in right now. Uh the Lord's only gonna avenge his elect, which is all according to prophecy. And through the elect, the mercy of the mercy of the Lord being bestowed upon the elect, all right, the elect to be so called Negroes, Latinos, the Americans, Israelites. All right, that's going to equate to the mercy of the rest of our people. Okay, the rebellious of our people are going to be destroyed on this side. All right, but his name, chapter 1, verse 2 says, The most high is jealous. Okay, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashan Shah, revenge it. Right, because he says, uh, It says, um, It's um, the most high is not mocked. Okay, it says, um, Also, it says, It's a uh, righteous thing in, in the sight of the Lord to recompense tri tribulation unto them that trouble thee. All right, this devil, Esau, even to a white man, is giving us nothing but hell. Okay, since he came up to power. In the time of the renaissance okay after uh you know jay came out of rulership the time of the dark ages okay um so here and really we want to get technical really from the womb okay because you're going to jacob and esau you know and you're going back to cain and abel okay this 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 war between these two seeds has been perpetual okay the lord set um um what's the word uh pretty much division okay you know the lord put a bound between these two seeds where they're not going to mix okay one's gonna be wicked one going to be righteous, okay? The one that's wicked, we're reading, we read it on um, Malachi first chapter, is Esau. So the Lord said he hated Esau, right? And he loved Jacob, okay? Jacob is the righteous, all right? The line of righteous. So our people are naturally not wicked, it's just they what? They've uh, 
eating of the fruit of wickedness, okay? They love death, which is sin, right? And that's why, again, coming to a new covenant, our people are not going to be wicked no more. It says in the book of Isaiah, all the people shall be right. So that's the, that's the promise. But that, they're going to have to get into the promise after death by pain. But the elect, a lot of them are not going to taste of death, okay? And they might have to give up their life on their side, but it does not matter because they're poor the elect. be raised up first and come back on those ships when Yahweh returns and cracks the sky and shakes this world. How it shakes the earth. So name it's like a ram a little bit, but here, Nahum chapter one verse two, the most high jealous and the Lord Yahweh Yahweh shall revenge. So that's why he said vengeance is mine. Okay, we have to wait on him. Okay, this is his day. All right, and we're gonna get our we're gonna get our turn. All right, but right now we're supposed to be sheep. All right, right now we're fishers. Okay, there's gonna be a time to come where we're gonna be turned to hunters. Okay, who's gonna use us? We are his battle axe weapons of war. It says the book of Jeremiah it says Nahum one and two, the most high jealous and the Lord Yahweh shall revenge it. The Lord Yahweh shall revenge it and is furious. The Lord Yahweh shall will take vengeance on his adversaries, and he reserved wrath for his enemies. So the Lord reserved a time. So that's the point. Yes, the Lord is mad that we get every single day, but what? He reserved a time, okay? Because it's all according to prophecy. The Lord said, let all things be done decently and in order, okay? So we know certain particular prophecies, prophecies have to come to pass before the Lord ultimately destroys this place, okay? And the, one of the main prophecies we're watching for is the MOTB, okay? Which is that chip. If you don't know what MLTB is, read Revelation 13 chapter 16 verse on down, okay? You can't buy or sell without this device. And this is what Esau, even so white man, is pushing out for his new world order, okay? He's going to chip those that bow knee onto him, and they're going to be destroyed, all right? That's the whole setup, the hour of temptation, all right? So two-thirds of our people are considered enemies because they swear allegiance onto Esau. They, they, they are okay with that covenant of death, okay? And they're going to officially sign it when they take that chip, okay? You know, if they even get to that point. A lot of the, the Lord's gonna slay a lot of people, all right. You know, prior to these missiles being dropped, but ultimate swords being those stomach missiles, which are gonna drop in a major way here in so called America, like especially being Babylon the Great, which is gonna be that lake of fire, okay? Because it's gonna be a third world war. A lot of prophets watching for it because again, everything's tied together, okay? And there's only speeding up the times for the Alexi, like the Lord said he would do, all right? Because if it wasn't for the, uh, the Alex, if it wasn't for the elect, no flesh should be saved, nobody would be able to be saved down here. This whole earth would be blown up just like Esau does in his Hollywood movies. All right, you know, uh, and skate off to some other planet eating popcorn, okay? It's not gonna happen. He's gonna be caught, he's gonna be destroyed. Don't, well, don't slavery, okay? Destroy meaning, you know, just taking down the structure of this kingdom, all right, and setting up the kingdom of heaven upon upon earth on the Abashi Mashai, okay? So, name one and three says, The Lord Yahweh is slow to anger and great in power, okay? And will not at all acquit the wicked, so they're not getting away. But that's why it says in Ecclesiastes 8 chapter, People think they get away with evil because they're not judged uh, instantly, okay? It's also because you're without chastisement, being a bastard. The Lord does not own you. So he lets you go on and follow after your own devices to what? You, you get led to your own destruction, okay? So the Lord's not going to quit the wicked. You're not going to get away, okay? That's why it says in um, Proverbs 11, um, what, uh, though hands on the hand? Matter of fact, I'll grab that. This Proverbs 11. This will be a quick lesson, Lord's will. And be able to find, you know, going pre sale speed through the spirit. Uh, it's been on my mind all day to get to it. So here we are. There's Proverbs 11 and verse 21. It says, Though hand join a hand, right? So you think it's safe to join with the majority. That's not the case in this world. Because if you love this world and, and you, you uh, matter of fact, we got this real quick. Because you, if you justify this world, if you think hey, it's okay, everybody, the best thing we should do is just get together and, and let Esau run things and, and it all figure itself out. Let's just love each other, okay? That's just love, all right? But you don't know what love is. The love is keeping up the commandments, okay? And and going to the fear of the Lord, all right? If you don't fear the Lord, you're not going to follow after his way. That's why you think uh, ultimately, you know, following obedience and instruction is grievous unto you. It, it just, it, it's a pain in your neck, all right? It just hurts your back, all right? So much to not eat pork, all right? To not be a, an adulterer, okay? To not be, uh, uh, um, um, you know, an idol worshiper, you know? These things are so hard for you not to do. Okay, and that's why it says uh, they worship the, the creature more than the creator. They worship themselves ultimately. They can't put these wicked habits down because they don't care about the Lord. Okay, so the Lord said, uh, you know, he said what? He reserved a day for his enemies for wrath. Okay, and the same token he's going to save uh, his, his, his elect for, for salvation. Okay, that's the balanced counsel of Yahweh Shem Shai. Okay, so here, Proverbs 11, verse 21, though hand join a hand, the wicked shall not be unpunished. So you join a hand in hand with this man's uh, a judgment. Okay. Going to the best of our people, you're gonna get a, a heathen judgment, and not just any heathen. You get into the heathen of heathens, okay? Ultimately, the wicked Esau Edom's judgment, being burnt by thermal missiles, 
okay? Tasting, tasting hellfire, okay? The Lord said he hates Esau, so that same wrath is coming. You're going to taste it because why? Because yeah, the Lord hates you too at this time, okay? And hate means to love less, all right? So he doesn't love you more than he's elect. So he's going to destroy you because you would, again, if it was up to you niggas out here, we'll be through. This whole earth will be through. Esau will just, you know, run off and skate with victory. Really, he'll just destroy himself because World War III, you can't escape that. All right. So nobody will be saying that's the point. OK, going to quote in that precept, yeah, which I said, or that parable to be more specific. Proverbs 11, verse 21, though hand join a hand. Right. Hey, let's all join together. The wicked shall not be unpunished. So you're going to be destroyed. But the seed of the righteous shall be delivered. So that's there you go. The Lord is always balanced with his counsel. The wicked going to be destroyed. Seed of the righteous going to be delivered. The balanced counsel of the Lord. OK, it's an abomination. Tim says the same thing in this chapter. Uh, a false balance is an abomination. OK, so the Lord's going to destroy the wicked. OK, and the head of the wicked. Uh, I'm gonna have to read that Jeremiah 23 going into um, that that whirlwind, you know, and in, in in that's uh, I'm gonna have to grab it. But I said I'm gonna grab this real quick. Uh, Proverbs 17, Proverbs 17 verse 15 it says, "He that justifieth the wicked, and he that con condemneth the just, even they both are an abomination to the Lord." Yah Basham Shai. So you justify the wicked, say, hey, let everybody get uh, venom juiced up, everybody get chipped up. That's the best thing we should do. Just comply with this, this devil. Okay, bow the knee. He'll, he'll leave us alone, okay? Just be a good little nigga boy, little nigga girl, and you'll be safe, okay? But the Lord's not dealing with that. The Lord's dealing with bold men, okay? Firstly and foremost, okay? Those that stood up in great boldness, the Lord's going to justify those men, okay? But you just find the wicked and, and trying to play sides, trying to play the middle, you know, be, the, you know, uh, uh, what, uh, what was it? Um, something with the fence, I can't think of right now. Um, you know, trying to just... Be blameless in your own in your own eyes, okay? It's not gonna work. Straddle the fence. There you go. The water Yeah, you're gonna lose. You better pick a side. Choose you this day. The Lord's not with gray areas, okay? All you people again, you for this world, you you like watching uh Sunday night football. Uh, you know, you don't want to miss out on your, your your daily TV show, weekly shows, you know, whatever. All right, movies, okay? Roller coaster, amusement parks. You know, your your four hundred one k, your good jobs. You love those things more, the Lord. You're gonna be destroyed, okay? This is a test of faith. That's it. Not a test of might. Not a tight. Not a not a not a not a test of might. Not a test of wise guy wisdom in this world. The, the wisdom that's important is to fear the Lord. Okay, that's the only thing that matters is the fear of Yahweh Bashai and true sincerity, the true fear. Okay, let the Lord be your dread. Okay, you know, because the Lord will jack you up. Okay, and we're getting re ready to see with our own eyes the reward of the wicked. Okay, this on, the best place to be on the side. Yeah, it might look bad sometimes. Yeah, you might catch some hell. You know. You know, got some congestion, whatever. You might have a headache. You know, whatever, man. There's, we're going to see when these things start playing out. There's nothing better than the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Nothing's better than the fear of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, Proverbs 17, verse 15. He that justified the wicked and he that condemned the just. Oh, these guys uh, lock them up. They're seditious. You know, they're liars. They're, they're devils. You know, you know, calling us whatever type of names. Blaspheming. All right, uh, uh, this truth. Okay, they're going to be destroyed. Okay, and there's no forgiveness for uh, blaspheming the Holy Spirit. Okay, calling these men devils. Okay, calling these you know the men of the Lord uh, false prophets and, and and again making a false narrative about them and and following after and eating it because you what uh, John third chapter. Okay, uh, you you love darkness. That's why the Lord said they cannot hate you, but they hate me. All right, so you hate the Lord. That's only that's 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 between you and the Lord. And what's gonna happen? We read the judgment. You're gonna be destroyed. Simple as that. Okay, and he that condemned the just, even they both are abomination. So you both gonna be destroyed. Okay. You, the Lord don't want to see you. You're just going to be turned to ashes. Okay. You know, what we're doing is the only thing that should really matter is pushing this truth. Okay. And if you don't like the message, so be it. Okay. It's not for you in the first place. So guess what? What's next for you? You got a ticking time bomb. Okay. Live it up. Just like Esau. Limitations. Uh, rejoice and be glad. Go enjoy your last little few seconds of folly and, and wickedness. And hey, consider the latter end. Okay. You're going to consider it perfectly in this time to come. All right. Um, let me finish this Nahum and then I'll grab uh, that Jeremiah I was talking about. Matter of fact, dang, I got to grab Psalm 7 too because that's the title lesson. I'll close out on that Psalm 7. Let me rip through this. Uh, Nahum chapter 1, verse 3. The Lord Yahweh Bashar is slow to anger. That's what to say he's long suffering towards usward because the elect got to be sealed. Okay? Once the elect are sealed, it's over with. Okay? That's why you see the, the world's in chaos. It's only ramping up because why? Because it's almost time to get out of here. Okay? The Lord Yahweh Bashar is slow to anger. And great in power and will not at all quit the wicked. The Lord Yahweh Basham Shai hath his way in the whirlwind and in the storm and in the clouds are the in the clouds are the dust of his feet. So that's why he said, Fear ye not me. Okay, you people have to learn to fear the Lord the hard way. Okay. And you don't have the fear right now because we just talk about uh the fear was created in the faithful from the womb. Okay. 
So if you're not part of that elk of the elect, you're not gonna get it till it's too late. You're gonna have to learn after death by pain. Again, keep calling me. Right? You're gonna have to learn the judgment of the Lord by you being part of that judgment, okay? We're going to the elect, they're gonna have that victory. Looking down, and I said, we just talk about uh, the single, the sea of glass mingled with fire. All right, and those had the victory over the beast, okay, over his image, over his karagma, okay, you know, and they're gonna win because why? Because Yahweh Shai said, Be of good cheer, I will overcome the world. We're gonna have, he said, You should have tribulation, or roughly paraphrasing, he said, um, In the world, you should have tribulation, yeah, but be of good cheer, if I will overcome the world. So, our victory is in Yahweh Shai, and that's the team we're on, okay. Jeremiah 23, verse 19, Behold, a whirlwind of the Lord Yahweh Bashar has gone forth in fury. Even a grievous whirlwind, that ultimate whirlwind is what? These thermonuclear missiles, okay? Of course, the chariots shooting laser beams. It sounds like folly to you people, but guess what? It's going to be a reality, okay? You're going to try to grab the remote, click the button. No, this is real life, okay? <clears throat> it says, it shall fall grievously upon the head of the wicked. So that grievous wound, okay? Going into um, uh, the beast that was wounded, all right? Had that wound onto death, but it, it was healed, all right? It's going to be terminal this time, okay? Head cut off, all the heads, okay? The seven heads of ten horse cut off, sliced off, and then burnt with thermonuclear missiles, okay? So if you're part of the setup, you're going to go down with it. Simple as that, okay? Simple mathematics, okay? Really subtraction, right? Well, that's part of mathematics, well, whatever. Jeremiah 23, verse 20 says, The anger of the Lord Yahweh Bashar shall not return until you have executed. So the Lord's still mad. He's been mad for a long time, and it's not going away till he's executed that anger, okay? That's why, again, going to jealousy is a rage of a man. You can't give him no ransom. You can't pay him off. Okay, like a uh, uh, sell a nigga, buy him cheap. No, man. You can't purchase, uh, you know, mercy with physical things, okay? And he saw eat him so white men. There's nothing you can do to stop this time you're coming into. You're getting ready to see real hell, okay? And it's only the beginning of your hell, buddy. So then it said, it says, until he had performed the thoughts of his heart. What's the thought of his heart? We tell you every single day, all right? Day in and day out. Uh, you know, telling you what the counsel Lord is, okay? You don't think he's gonna do it? That's why, again, you're gonna have to learn the hard way, okay? It says, in the latter days, you shall consider it perfectly. So, just like when this whole pandemic thing hit, you people scratch your head and all oh, y'all scared now. Now you wanna find the Lord. No, okay? It says, seek the Lord, why he may be found, okay? Last year was a warm up, okay? The Lord's not even, you know, the Lord's stretching, okay, you people, okay? Just stretching his arm, getting his legs right, you know, getting warmed up for the real battle, okay? when he cracks the skies okay second and 13 chapter tells you that there's nothing to be perceived but the dust and smell of smoke okay this whole place is going to get fired up okay you know you people want to man you people are stupid let me close out psalm 7 verse 9 and start at the top i'll just read through a couple of verses psalm chapter 7 verse 9 says oh let the wicked the wickedness of the wicked come to an end okay and again esau is the end okay that's why it says do much relation shall we enter the kingdom we have to get through this time we have to get through this bull crap which I speak as a man saying bull crap, you know, but we have to get through this to enter into that broad, okay? Because we're in the narrow and it's going to open up for us going into the kingdom. Right now, you know, for you people, you know, it's real broad for you, but it's going to be real narrow. All right, well, that's going to be your destruction. It's going to be and that walk is destruction, okay? Uh, or pit. You're going to fall straight down to hell, okay? <laughs> you know, uh, Psalm 7 and 9 it says, Oh, let the wickedness of the wicked come to an end. It's coming to an end, okay? Because it's, again, before the kingdom, before the kingdom can come, all right, this place has to be destroyed, okay? Simple as that. They can't exist together. All right, it says, but establish the just, all right? That's why it says in due time, those are going to set up one that's profitable. The, the, power, the power of the earth is in the hand of the Lord, okay? And the one that's profitable is, is Yahweh Shai, okay? Send up the 144,000 of the elect judges and ruin this world, this universe, in righteousness, okay? And it's already been set from the beginning. So it says, for the, righteous, for the righteousness, yeah, for the righteous power, try the hearts and reigns, right? He tests your mind. Okay, put you through certain things to see what you're gonna do. Okay, that's what a test is. Okay, and the test is ultimately rigged. The Lord set it up for His men first and foremost to win. Okay, and the rest of the elect, you know, the believers, the men, women, and children who also slide to receive salvation this time to come, going into the great multitude of believers. After these miracles, after these wonderful beautiful things the Lord said to do, niggas are still gonna be more. They're gonna be more of a nigga. Okay, and the elect gonna be more of the elect. Simple as that. Okay, the the, the wicked shall do weekly. And we can, none of the wicked shall understand, but the wise shall understand. Okay, he that is unjust, let him be unjust. He that is not holy, let him be holy still. Okay, that's how it's going to be. All right, so ultimately, again, the Lord really cleans up the, the wicked of our people and us as well because we get those new bodies. But so let me wrap this up. Psalm 7 and 10 it says, My defense is the most high, which saveth the upright in heart. So the Lord saves those that what? Constantly meditate on Him. Okay, must meditate on prophets, meditate on heavenly things. Okay, our conversation is what? Our conduct. All right, is all. Surrounded by the fear of Yahweh Shai, okay? 
That's the whole duty. Hear the most high, keep his commandments. That's it. Okay. Psalm 7 11. The most high judges the righteous, and the most high is angry at the wicked every day. So that's why we all have to go before that seat, whether it be for good or for evil. We want to be for good. All right. Because we're reading earlier that the Lord's angry. He's furious. Okay. We're not talking about, you know, uh, some mini me, you know, little, you know, four foot five dude. Okay. That got a bat. Okay. We're talking about the Lord who destroys worlds. Okay. And you can really see that for yourself. Okay. Not just words no more. Right? The kingdom's going to come by power. Okay. Power. Not handshakes and, and, and shooken and jiving. Okay. The Lord destroying this place. Right. Psalm 7 11. The most high judge of the righteous. Right. And the most high angry with the wicked every day. Verse 12. If he turn not, he will wet his sword. He will bend. He had bent his bow and made it ready. The Lord is a man of war. Right. The war has been declared on this place. Right? You think the prophets are here. Okay. And you're not going to win. All right. Psalm, Psalm 7 and 13. He have also prepared for him the instruments of death. The ultimate instrument of death is that those thermal looking missiles. Okay. He have he says he ordaineth his arrows against the persecuted so it's been ordained for you to be destroyed by thermal looking missiles. Thermal looking missiles. Jake turned up a little bit. You know, it's ordained. So how are you gonna stop that? How are you gonna stop something that's ordained? Okay. There's no turning back that. Okay. From the beginning of time before this earth was even established, before the elements got brought together, okay, before there was order, you know. In this earth, okay, in the in the, in the in the universe, the Lord already set it up in the council that He was going to destroy this place, make up a little place called America, and blow it up, okay, and destroy the wicked and save the elect, man, the righteous, okay, which we hope to be, and we're righteous by our faith, we believe. All right, Psalm seven thirteen, He had prepared for Him the instruments of death, okay, hey, a, a dark and gloomy day, okay, guts, blood gushing everywhere, screams, wails, your worst nightmare, because the Lord is the King of Terrors, okay. That's why, again, it's better just to fear the Lord. Obedience is better than sacrifices. He ordained his arrows against the persecutor. So those arrows, when they blow up, if you get touched by it, you know, I mean, what can happen to these fleshy bodies? You're going to be burnt up. Okay, if you're not beaten up and it's time to come, if you're left here, you know, when these missiles come, sayonara. Okay, if you're uh, we're best two third, we'll see you in the kingdom. Eventually, you know, whenever you come back, we'll see you. We'll love you. Right. But you saw even so white many other nations, China, you know, you gooks. All right, you Moabites, you Ammonites, you other heathen nations, and Elam, all you uh, heathens, you're going to slavery, okay? You set up your little algorithms and your little tricks and whatever while you, while you can. But when the Lord gets up and, and, and starts moving things, all right, and the how we know what he's going to do, hey, what well, they say, kiss your, kiss your ass goodbye. Okay, so with that, those words be edifying. As we're going to all praise to Abbas, Shabbat, 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 Shabbat